Hey guys, it's Zach. Thanks for watching. Today's video, we're going to talk about the four different ways that I store ammunition. Let's get started. All right, the first way that I store ammunition is simply in the gun, in this case, in a 9mm pistol. I think it's imperative to store your ammunition first and foremost in the guns that you own, not only from a mindset perspective, being that it's important to know that all of your guns are loaded if the need shall arise. However, it's also important from a safety perspective. Uh, the first rule of firearm safety is treat all guns as if they're always loaded. And the best way to do that is simply to keep your guns loaded. So that's the first way, the most important way that I store ammunition. Put that guy away. There we go. All right, so the second way that I store ammunition is in a magazine. Again, a 9mm Glock magazine. I have all my magazines that I own are loaded. And again, from the mindset ish, or from the mindset perspective, just like a gun. Also, from a practical perspective, your magazines are worthless if there's not rounds in them. There's nothing worse than needing, needing a gun that's unloaded, but also needing ammunition from a magazine when the magazine is, is unloaded is, is equally as worthless. There are some myths floating around out there about the reliability of a magazine being diminished if you keep it loaded or if you keep it more than halfway loaded or whatever. The internet says it's all garbage. Keep your mags, keep them loaded, uh, and it's going to benefit you in the long run or the short run, I guess. The third way that I store ammunition is in the ammo can. So, on the top of, and this is just a 30 caliber ammo can, I use 30 cal cans and 50 uh, cal cans. I will use the 50, 50 cans usually for rifle ammo because it's bigger. Uh, this 30 cal ammo can will fit about six to 700 rounds of nine millimeter pistol ammo, which is about what a two day class uh, uses. Uh, I could probably fit a couple hundred more, but inside of the ammo can, I usually keep six to seven magazines. Uh, for classes and I keep them loaded uh, and I'll also keep one of those mag loader assist devices in there as well. In this uh, ammo cam specifically uh, there is field key 9mm 115 grain ammo. I, this is the ammo, field key is what I run for 95% of pretty much all the ammo that I use with the exception of a couple things. Uh, it's reliable, uh, field key is a great company there are people there that not only are passionate about the Second Amendment and guns, but they're also passionate about training. So I recommend 100% field key ammunition. That's, that's virtually all that I run in my guns. So inside the ammo can, which in this one, like I said, is field key, just like pretty much the rest of them, uh, there is a the top of the box. I'll cut that off with the side that has the lot number on it, and I will actually tape it to the inside of the ammo can. And what that does is it gives me the lot number in case I experience an issue with the ammunition that's in this can. Uh, that's helpful uh, to be able to give the ammo manufacturer the lot number as far as trying to help them remedy the problem or just to give them good data if, if you've been having issues with uh, your ammunition. Uh, like I said, I only keep about 600 rounds or so in the 30 caliber cans. And the reason I do that is because I'll keep extra loaded magazines in there because if I go to a class, I can just pick this up and go. Uh, and I know my ammo and my mags are in there. Uh, or, to be honest, if there's another need for me to pick up a can of ammunition and, and take off, I've got all of it right here um, that I'll need. So, the fourth way that I store ammunition is by the case. Uh, I buy ammunition by the case. Uh, I, I rarely buy ammunition uh, less than a case at a time, especially training ammo. And to be honest, I, I probably buy ammo several cases at a time uh, when I make an order. I order almost all my ammunition exclusively on uh, the internet and I use AmmoSupplyWarehouse.com. Uh, just like Fioki, Ammo Supply Warehouse is run and owned by people who not just appreciate guns or appreciate freedom or liberty, also people that actually go out and take training courses. And that's extremely important to me and I know it's important to them when they sell ammunition is that people are using it to uh, to make themselves safer and to make their, their own country safer uh, by using the product. So, uh, AmmoSupplyWarehouse.com is where I buy my ammo. It usually comes in a box just like this, at least a 9mm does. And I will store these uh, actually in a gun safe. And so, 
I'll stack these up in a gun safe and I have a gun safe for guns and I have a gun safe for ammo. And I have one for ammo to prevent theft of course uh, because these, as anyone knows who's taken a training class, ammunition is not cheap and if you take enough training classes you'll realize how much you need to have on hand to be able to you know, continue to learn if you will. Uh, but also in the case of a fire, if my house were to burn down I would hope my ammunition, just like my gun safe, my ammunition safe would also help protect my ammunition against fire. Um, you know, you may have 10 or 12 cases of ammo in your ammo safe, and you know, that's several thousand, that could be up to several thousands of dollars. So uh, that's how I store uh, my uh, ammunition in the case. Also, um, versus taking it out and unpacking a bunch of these little boxes, I find it easier if I needed to grab this ammunition by the case, just like if I had to grab this ammo can, I could just pick it up and go. Uh, which is convenient uh, as well. So, again, thanks for watching. Those are the four ways that I store ammunition, starting with the most important to not the least important, but you know, the fourth priority, if you will. So, again, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.